Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. In this video, we're going to tie the Gypsy King. And this pattern I or found out about through an Instagram post um, where somebody in Washington was using it as a crane fly adult. And we happened to be having a really amazing crane fly hatch this year. And uh, I started tying some of these and fishing them, and it just was killer. But it's a great just a tractor pattern stone fly pattern so you know use this as a template um, for you know nice kind of summer summer attractor pattern but if you're looking for a good um, crane fly pattern this is definitely definitely an awesome one it worked really well for me so I've got a fire hole 718 in the uh, the vise here and I'm going to kind of start as you can see, I already wrapped my thread to the back of the hook. I'm going to put a little ice stub on, and for the crane fly version, just kind of a rusty brown or cinnamon ice stub. You could do a UV tan as well. Kind of whatever looks best compared to the bugs on the water. And I'm just going to take that ice stub a little more than halfway up the shank. And then when I get there, I'm going to tie in my body, and my body's going to piece, be a piece of 3 mil foam. And I've just cut the end into a taper. <clears throat> you could use a body cutter, you know, foam body cutter if you want. Like a Chernobyl body cutter, or what have you. <clears throat> but what, I, what I'm going to do is just let that hang back off the back of the hook quite a ways. Tie it down. Whatever you're comfortable with in terms of, you know, for the crane fly, I have a pretty pronounced abdomen, so there we go. And I've got an underwing, which is going to be a little clump of tan crystal flash. What we're going to do is tie that right down in this little pocket here. Like that. And then over the top of that clump of elk hair that I have stacked. Measure that to length. About the same length as the, the crystal flash. Maybe just a hair shorter. And once I get that cut, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to tie it in kind of pre-trimmed. So my little clump is going to be trimmed and go right in that little pocket here like so probably shorten that wing just a little bit more there we go tie that in Okay, next we're going to tie in a set of legs. So you can see we got the crystal flash, got the hair wing. Now we'll do our legs. And I'm going to use brown fine rubber, round rubber. It, it really has a lot of movement. And with the, the crane flies, that movement was pretty critical. So I'm tying one on the near side. We'll do one on the, the far side. Couple of supporting wraps there. There we go. Okay. Now we're gonna do our hackle and just big oversized whiting saddle grizzly. So either like Euro hackle or a big saddle. You could, you know, do a brown grizzly or, or what have you. I'm just going to use standard grizzly. I'll split those legs with the hackle. Get quite a few wraps in here. 
right, and tie off my hackle. <clears throat> sneak in the point of my scissors trim that hackle out okay now we will I'm gonna just firm everything up here that'll be a little wiggly on you um, but what I like to do is just kind of keep some thread tension and then sneak underneath everything like that <clears throat> then we're gonna take a little more ice dubbing and dub just a small amount kind of fold everything up again get everybody out of the way come on there we go and then we're going to fold our foam forward tie that down I'm going to go ahead and trim the foam flat and overhanging. This gives it a nice kind of skater for this crane fly when you're kind of skittering and skating a um, crane fly pattern. That nice thick foam um, really makes a difference. And we're going to tie that off just by whip finishing right over the top. Tighten that up. Trim the thread this particular one I'll trim my crystal flash just a little shorter and there we have it you could taper this head shape a little bit the fish don't care it gives you a little better skater wing but that's just a dynamite pattern it's kind of similar to a crane fly pattern I posted a few years ago but just a little bit cleaner not quite as busy um, this is just a tremendous pattern. I caught a lot of fish on this this year And like I said, it doesn't have to be used as a crane fly pattern. You can change it up a little bit. Maybe shorten the body um, If you like uh, change the color patterns use it as a stone fly or just a big attractor drive fly um, But a really great pattern and, and a super producer. So definitely tie some of those up check out the other videos on our channel and um, We'll have more videos coming soon